Okay, so I'm gonna show you a few more things and I've gone through all the earrings and pretty much weeded out the ones that didn't have mates. And there were a lot of them did, that didn't have mates, but I'm gonna come through and show you all the rest. My hands are filthy, filthy now. So, yes, I'm gonna turn the camera around so I think, because I think it'll be a little easier to move them in and out in front of the camera um, and not have to worry, wait for the focus and all this stuff. So I'll just talk at you. I'll talk at you over the camera, okay? It's fine, you know what I look like. Okay, so we've got this pendant. He's really funky. It says Lucky Tiki, and so I'm gonna look it up. I don't know anything about it. It is magnetic, but it's cool. It's cool. This little teddy bear with the uh, heart was in there. Let me look at the back on this one. This is Avon. It says Avon on there, so that will go in the crafter's lot. Got some clip-ons here. Again, I'm not sure what I want to do with these ones. They're not branded, so they'll probably go with the crafter's lot. This earring, I was really bummed that there was not a mate, but I'm thinking that it might be silver. It's such a small amount though, I don't know, that I may just go ahead and put it with my for keeps for now. <laughs> These ones are cute, they have them clipped together. They're not magnetic. So I'm not sure, I don't see any kind of marks on them. They're not magnetic, which doesn't mean they're silver, but I may just hang on to them for now. They're really pretty. Let's see if you can see these ones. It's gonna roll for you. Those ones are kind of cool, swirly swirlies. But they are magnetic. I don't know, what do you think? Would you sell these or would you get rid of them? They're okay, they've got some scuffs on them. This looks like it's from a horse race. I'm not exactly sure, so I'll have to look that up. That's new for me. I've got a lapel pin, magnetic. This is a really pretty scarf clip. Let me set it down flat so you can see. Really pretty scarf clip, floral, kind of like a tulip. What do you think, is that a tulip? I'm not sure exactly, but I'll sell that. That's, that's really nice. This is one I was super bummed did not have the mate. I was really bummed by that. Okay, so yesterday my camera zonked out on me. I think it may have gotten overheated. <laughs> so I will uh, finish up here today. So here we've got some other earrings. These are magnetic. Well, they were magnetic. <laughs> the backs are, the posts are. Let's take a peek. And again, I'm not sure about these if I'm going to list them or put them in the lot. I could use your opinion. I mean, they're really pretty. They're pink and sparkly, so. I may try to sell them. Again, they're not going to be they're not going to be huge sellers, I don't think, but they're pretty. I don't know. Give me your opinion. Next up, I have these gold hoop type earrings with these dangly pearls. They are also magnetic, but I think I might try to sell them. They are very, I don't know, classic kind of looking. They would be good for a business type suit. Let me take a peek at one and see if they have any kind of Maker's Mark on them. They will do better if they're, say, Trafari or something. I don't see any. So, so yeah, those will go up, I'm guessing again within the, you know, 10 to $15 range, um, probably, we'll see. Again, you are welcome to give me your opinions down below and say, oh, Margaret, don't waste your time. <laughs> So here's another piece that was in there. It looks like a little pewter rocking horse. I'm not seeing any maker's mark, but it's super cute. And I'm, I'm gonna try to sell that. Let me double check for marks. Hmm, there is a mark. I'm not sure I can, let's see if we can do this. Cause it's really smudged. Um, but I'll, I'll look up some more marked rocking horse pewter type pins. I'm pretty sure that's pewter. We've got these earrings. They look like this. Of course, if I get closer, you can't see it because it won't focus for you. Um, I don't know, what do you think about these ones? They, I'm looking for marks for you. 
don't see any kind of markings. What would you do with these ones? Would you lot them in the crafter's lot or would you try to sell them? I mean, they're pretty. They're pretty little flowers, but they're not, I don't know, like is someone gonna be searching for that? Maybe. Maybe if I find some others that are studs like this that are, I can put them in like an earring lot, I don't know. So here we've got some beaded earrings. These were in there. And these are kinda cute, I might try to sell these. Um, they are magnetic. So yeah, I may just throw out some keywords and see how they do. Again, I don't think they're gonna be huge sellers. And here we have got this, it's a keychain. Statue of Liberty on one side, and then it spins uh, to her torch on the other. So, <laughs> I have no idea. I, I mean, maybe somebody would collect, want this, but at the same time, I know New York City souvenir stuff is, well, you know, there's a lot out there, so. What would you do on this one? I'm not sure. I'm, okay, this was the only ring that was in there. I just realized this. This is the only ring. It does look like silver. There are some stones in there. Let me pull out my loop. <clears throat> okay, it's marked RSC 925, so it is sterling silver. I don't know what RSC is. I'll have to look that up. Come here, you. But it's a nice style ring. I need to learn more about what to look for when looking at stones, you know, to see. <laughs> Not that I think these are going to be diamonds or anything, but just to have a better idea, you know what I mean? Better. This one I don't think has a mate. Looking. No, this one doesn't have a mate, but I kept it to the side because I think it might be silver. Yeah. There are no markings on it, but I'm going to put it with my items to test for silver. So here we've got some little snowman earrings. I thought I might sell them, but then I'm looking at this one. He's got some, I have to see if that's scuffs or just yuck. Yeah, I mean, if the, if this guy didn't have these little scratches in his enamel, I'd probably try to sell them because they're cute. Uh, but since he does, they're going to go in the lot of crafter's lot. Found this little M charm in there. It's not magnetic, but it doesn't mean I think it's silver either. I don't, it doesn't really have that look. I can't explain it, you know, it doesn't. But I'll put it off to the side just in case. Him, that's like me, Margaret. Okay, so these earrings make a little heart. Look, isn't that cute? They look like that heart. And they form two earrings, like so. And let's see. They are not magnetic. Let me see if they have any markings on them. I don't see any markings. I think they could be silver. Um, so I'm definitely going to keep them, even if they weren't. They're really cute. That's such a cute little concept with the hearts. Okay, so these earrings are really unusual. You know how I love cloisonne. These are a cloisonne type earring, unless it's a different style. Somebody's told me there's something like cloisonne, but it's a little bit different. You can see how this has lines in it up here, and each of the sections is kind of styled differently, so it might actually be called something else. I don't know if you can see that. Like this light blue has got these like lines scratched, and then this purple part's kind of pebbled looking. I think there's another word for it. I could have sworn somebody told me like this part's got little lines. I'm um, just the way that they're set in there. Um, but anyway, it's like a closing a style. Oh gosh, what's it called? Anyway, but these are not the typical, you know, looking ones that have like flowers or butterflies or things like that. It's almost like an art deco-y looking abstract image. So they're really cool. And so I will sell them. Let's take a look at the backings. And let's see. They are magnetic, but I don't think it's gonna matter. I think they're cool enough that someone's gonna really like them. I do, I really do. <laughs> Where is your mate? I know I've got it. Okay, so these ones are cool. These are mixed metal. You can see the like copper and maybe silver in there. They kind of remind me of like 
I don't know, Scandinavian or Viking or something like that. Earrings, let's see the backs. That's what the back looks like. They are not magnetic. They're pretty cool. I don't think that's gonna work because they're such a glare. But I love the, I don't even know how to describe that, the kind of swirls in there, but they're really cool. So yeah, all right, those will go in for to sell. They're really cool. I like them, I like them a lot. Here are some earrings that were also in there. These ones are different. I mean, they, if, at first glance you would think, oh, these are like Claire's earrings, you know, or that kind of style. But, and there's just so many little details with them. They've got this, the post with the teeny stone. It's got this little dangly pearl. It's got this really kind of pretty inlay flower and then more dangles at the bottom. Um, and then the, it's tarnished like like silver tarnishes. Oops, here, definitely. Let's see. See, I mean, it's not magnetic, which again, doesn't necessarily mean anything. Oh, the post is. Let me take a look on the back. I mean, I don't, now that I look at the back, I don't think they're silver, because the, the tarnish, if it's tarnished, it's really shiny, you know what I mean? So it, you see how it kind of shines right there? And, and normally, like, the tarnished up stuff doesn't have that kind of shine to it. So, I don't know. What would you do with these ones? Maybe they are just like Claire's earrings and I was just giving them the old, give it a try, the call your try. <laughs> so I'm gonna put these in the maybe pile. I don't, again, I'm not sure. Maybe somebody would see them and just fall in love, right? They're kind of like romantic style, you know, earrings. So this one is the, this is a, a little pin back here and this one is the British flag, the Union Jack and the American flag, the Stars and Bars. Now what I found interesting about this one is that the colors, I mean you can see the blues and the reds, but they're so dark. You know, usually they're so vibrant in pins and things, but this one the colors are really dark and kind of muted, which I found unusual. So I'm going to put this for sure in my, my maybe pile. This magnetic. I just thought it was interesting. I'd never seen one kind of like that, where the colors were so dark. Here we go. Here's some that they paired together for me. These ones I'll probably try to sell. They're pretty basic, but also nice, you know. And I don't see any markings. They're not magnetic, but <clears throat> I'm going to check them just in case. What if they're like Cartier or something, right? That's the dream. No, no marks. Um, so, yeah, these are, these will be going in the to sale pile cute earring, but I am now thinking I don't have the pair for this one. I thought I paired them all up. Oh boy. Okay, I'll set you to the side in case I find you. So again, Cloisonne, these look like <clears throat> bird wings or butterfly wings. Really pretty. They curve like so. And you know me, Cloisonne is one of those things that I think it should sell for way more than it does because I think it's so pretty. But it really just doesn't sell for that much. Okay, you're next. So this is a battle axe. This is, reminds me of the old Swedish chef battle axe. Um, <laughs> if you haven't seen it, the Swedish chef's uh, how to make pumpkin pie sketch is hilarious. Oh, you want to use like uh, one of them battle axes. Ooh, the battle axe. Okay. Oh my gosh. Okay. So, ooh, battle axe. And I will try to sell this battle axe. <laughs> Keychain, I just think it's awesome. That or I'll keep it. <laughs> this Now this one didn't have a mate, but I, sa I saved it to the side because it was not magnetic. And I'm going to look, if you can see, let me zoom it in a bit for you, I can see some kind of writing. Okay, so <laughs> that's as far as it's gonna let me go. But maybe, can you see that? It says Carla? 14k is that right that's right so that is probably 14 karat gold it says for Carla 14k yay so this gets to go to the side I don't see a mate for it so this will go into a gold scrap metal bag for sale see all right here we go now these ones I would have sold um, but 
They've got all these little chips and nicks in them. You know, they're super mod. I, I would definitely use the word mod as the uh, one of my keywords. But yeah, they are very kind of chipped up. So they will go with the scrap. All right, so these are pearl clip-on earrings. Let's see if they've got a maker's mark. I'm not seeing a maker's mark on them. If they were something like Trifari or something like that, I might try to sell them. Oh wait, yes it is! There it is. <laughs> you see right there, Trifari. Okay, so that is a good um, brand. I mean, the, the earrings are kind of basic, but I still may try to go ahead and, and pop them up there. And here's the other pearly earrings that we have got. They're basic. These ones are pierced, like so. And I don't, again, see a mark. So yeah, I mean, I guess I may try to sell these. What do you think? What would you do? Because they're, I mean, they're just pearl earrings, but maybe somebody's looking for basic, simple pearl and gold. <laughs> I don't know. I'll put them to the side of my maybe pile. Maybe. And that's another one. I wish I had the mate for this one. It's kind of cool, but I don't have the mate. Little Alaska pin. This one is going in the lot. These ones are little wooden earrings, which I'll probably put up. In one of my last videos, someone mentioned using the word vegan jewelry for some of the wooden jewelry, so I may try that keyword when I sell these little wooden hoops. They're cute though, huh? These are magnetic, so they will go with the crafter's lot. I thought this stone was really cool, the way this was set, but I don't think we have a mate for it. That one, this part might not be magnetic, but it's almost like a sandstone in there with resin over it. It's really cool the way it's done. But anyway, the maid is not there, so we can just break our own hearts. Ooh, those may have been ones I would have kept for me. <laughs> There's this. Let's see. Oh, yeah, you have a mate. So these have mates. Uh, I mean, they're cute. I might try to sell them. Oh, are you missing a stone? Let me see. Oh, you're in there. So, uh, yeah, I mean, these, again, there may not be, they may sit for a bit, but I might try to sell them. They're pretty. This was one I was hoping to find the, the mate for, but I did not. Hmm. See, look, sometimes when you're testing for, you know, with the, with the magnet and it grabs to the magnet real fast, it might be the backing that they have paired with it, and then the actual item doesn't is not magnetic. I'm poking it, that's why it's moving. See, so when you separate them, you can see like, oh, because at first it looked like the earring was magnetic, but you know, when I took this off, you can see it's not. So this may be silver, so I may put it with my silver stuff. Let me take a look with my loop. I don't really think it's silver, but I'm gonna put it with my test lot anyway. Look at this cute bead. I just wanted to show you that. It's a little ladybug bead. Is it a bead? Okay, it's not even a bead. It's like a little ladybug. There's no holes in it. What do you make of that? It's cute though, right? Little glass ladybug. Here we've got another solo earring. Let's put all this back. I, I look at them all, I'm telling you. Because even if I just went through and put all my ones that didn't match up to the side without testing with the magnet, you might miss something. So look again, there it is. Carla 14K, and it's not a match for this one, which may be why it was donated. You know, maybe somebody like, oh, I don't have the pair, I lost the other earring, I'm gonna just, God, I don't want it. But this is marked, so I will test it. Even though it's marked, I mean, it's got the name too, the brand, I guess, is that the brand Carla 14K? So I will put this with my other one over there. Here we've got some little candy canes. I'll, I'll just put those with the craft lot. Mm. Next up, got another solo hoop. Not magnetic. I'm looking for tiny letters. I think there might be some tiny scratchings there. Let me see. I don't know if you can see, that's 14K in there. So again, this one doesn't have a match, but I can take it to my gold man if it's real gold. These are so cute. They're four-leaf clover earrings with these green stones. And let's see. The post is magnetic. Let's see if I see any marks. 
I was honestly I was like, oh please be like emeralds and white gold. Wouldn't that be awesome? That's the dream. But I'll still try to sell these. I'll clean them up. Even though they're not silver. I think, you know, these they, they are good luck. They're four leaf clover. They're really cute. I was really hoping this guy had a mate too, but he does not. That's a bummer. Here we've got this Phoenix International Raceway Winston Cup Series pin. Um, it is transportation related. Race race cars, right? Um, so I will try to sell that. Race cars, transportation. This one has no mates. It is magnetic. These are little bowling ball earrings. They've got a bowling pin and a little pearl for the bowling ball. They are magnetic. I will still try to sell these because the subject matter is so good with the little bowling alley theme. Bowling pins. All right, here we've got some other little earrings that have wire-wrapped stones. They are magnetic. Hmm, I personally like them. So maybe I should personally try to sell them. <laughs> I'm not sure. I mean, I guess I could put wire-wrapped, dangle, black stone. I'm not sure it's a stone, it's just a bead. Eh, we'll see. Maybe. They'll go in the maybe pile. This was another mateless little fella orphan earring. Let's see. Now, this is where I say, is the earring magnetic or is it the backing? Ooh, let's find out. Yep, the earring is. I was hoping this little gold star might, might be a little gold earring, but it's not. But you're not magnetic, are you? Okay, so this backing is not, but I wanted to bring this up, that if you see just loose, sometimes you would just see these loose down in the bottom of the jewelry jars and think they're just throwaway pieces, but sometimes they're backings for, say, like gold hoop earrings, you know, th th that one is not, but check even the little backings, you know what I mean, because <clears throat> it's a teensy bit amount of gold, but you get enough of them put together and then before you know it, you've got a gram which is, is worth a little money. So just throw them all in a bag. Take a look at them. Even the teeny, teeny bits can be treasures. Now this is not magnetic, and I didn't see a mark, like I said, but. Now this is another one. Okay, here we go. I was really hoping to find the mate for this because it's got that dichroic glass in it. So pretty. Look at there. Uh, really iridescent and shimmery, but there was no mate for it, so it will go with the crafter's lot. And then this little, I don't know if this is a nose ring or an earring, it's not magnetic, but it's super tiny, so I'm not sure they'd be able to get a mark on there. I don't see any kind of marking, so I'm going to put it to test, just because. Another one that I was wishing the mate was there, but there was not. And this one again, there's no mate. It's not magnetic. I don't think it's silver, though. It feels like tin or something. And another pair of little, looks like Easter eggs. Okay, those are going in the crafter's lot. Here we have, all right, let me pull apart the backing from this. The backing is not magnetic. The earring is magnetic. So I am going to look at the backing. Um, I don't see any marks on this and I don't get the impression that it's silver. So here we've got Bloomsday 25th running Spokane, Washington. I don't know. May, I mean, I'm putting this in my maybe pile. Here's a clip on that. Again, I didn't have the mate for, but I was wishing to find it. It's pretty. Random leaf. Not magnetic. Got a mark. Let's read what it says. Can you read it? I can't read it. Let me look. Avon. Craft lot. <laughs> Again, some feathers, not magnetic. I don't think it's silver. What would you do? Would you try to sell this charm individually or put it with the craft lot? I'll put it in the question mark pile. Yep, magnetic. This pin is kind of pretty. It's got a little red stone, dangly heart. It's magnetic. It's still really pretty though. What do you make of that? I guess I could put that in like a craft lot of pins and brooches. Okay, so we're finished up here going through the three jewelry jars. Apologies, I know I'm in a different outfit. I don't know if that's gonna throw your world into a chaotic spin, but it's cool. It's cool. <laughs> so we found, let me show you the two tubs that we started with. This one will be my crafter lot, bracelet lot, etc. cetera. 
This one is the one we have, you know, necklaces, earrings, and pins, and things like that. And so, yeah, it appears that the Crafters Lot won, but these three 14 karat gold earrings weigh, oh gosh, what did they weigh? Oh, I, I did the weight and then I put them into the gold scrap calculator and the gold scrap calculator gave me the number of $77. So these three earrings, 14 karat gold, are worth $77. If I take them to the, the gold man, that's not, you know, the amount he's gonna cut me because he takes a chunk. But still, even if it was like $50 that I walk away with, which I think I'd get more than that, but that's pretty good. Seeing as I spent $34 on the three jewelry jars, if I walk away with $50 just from those three earrings, I've already made my money back plus some. And then on top of that, I've got some other items to sell. So, tips. One, make sure you check the bottom of the bag and all of the pieces. So even if you're thinking, oh, I don't have a match for this, I don't have a match for this, take your jewelry magnet, take your loop, test them out. Um, if you can, get a, a gold testing kit to make sure, because I did find a piece that was marked 925 that was not sterling silver, it's totally magnetic. So what I do, and I have people ask, so with the magnet, what I do is first test for mag to see if it's magnetic, because if it's magnetic, it's not gonna be gold or silver. Now people have said, well, it could be, it depends on what the metal is mixed with, but I don't really go with that. <laughs> Thinking maybe I need to, to do some more research on that. And then I have a golden testing kit that I use. I actually did a tutorial on how I test my gold and silver, and I'll link that up here in the corner if you wanna check it out. And what else was I gonna tell you? This is exciting, I know. So I will, share the other jewelry bag that I got on the trip later. And I think what I'll do, cause I spent a lot of time uh, detangling it while I was trying to make the video, which got me so frustrated cause I just wanted to share everything and I'm sitting there trying to detangle and share you, share you. Um, <laughs> so I think I will detangle and just set it out and just not try not to like really pay attention to what the things are to make it a little smoother. Yeah, okay. So, yay, I'm excited. I think this one was a win. What do you think? Have you tried a jewelry jar yet? Jewelry jar? Jewelry jar? Let me know. Let me know down in the comment section below. And if you haven't, you know, you might think about it. I don't, I don't suggest the ones that are full of um, Mardi Gras beads, personally. But, you know, take a look through the jar. And maybe I'll do that next time I go and see a bunch of jars. I'll see if I can videotape them and talk about, like, I'm not thinking about it. I'm gonna get this one, I think I'm gonna get this one, and here's what I see, and here's why. We'll see if they'll let me do that in the store. We'll find out. <laughs> All right, thanks so much, you guys. <clears throat> if you have not already, hit that like button down below. And if, th if this is the first time you've come to my channel, or if you're fairly new here, and you haven't subscribed yet, think about subscribing. I put out videos every day. A lot of them are reseller related. I do, um, hauls and sales videos, tutorials, but then I also do vlogs and unboxings, which are always lots of fun interviews. Uh, so think about subscribing. We have lots of fun over here and I will talk to you later guys. Go out and enjoy yourselves. Bye-bye. Break. Kitten break. Mm. Say hey. Say hi, pancake. Let's get it out of your system. Cause we are gonna get busy. Say hi. It's a pancake. In the pancake. Yeah. All right, his sister may come along in just a minute. Hang on. <laughs> Maybe. <not. laughs> okay, we'll see. No. <laughs> Those are my treasures. Those are my treasures. <laughs> okay. <laughs>